What's going on, people? So, it's been a fairly long day today. You know, this is like video number five for today, and then I'm done. But then I got, I think, four videos tomorrow and a live. So, it's gonna be a fairly busy weekend, you know? But I'll get the editing done at some point. I mean, I took like three weeks off, so I'm not in no real rush to get these out. These shoes aren't new to anybody anymore. So now it just doesn't matter. I'll put them out whenever I put them out. But there's some, just some information for people that listen to the full video for whatever reasons. So anyways, here's the thing, right? These right here, it's obviously the same shoe for the most part. I mean, you look at that box, it says some stuff on the side. You look at this one over here, it says some stuff on the side. A lot of it's similar, some of it's different, right? Anyways, here's the, here's the deal, right? When these came out, we'll, we'll go with the men's one. When these came out, like two weekends ago or something, I saw a lot of people talking about them. They're like, oh man, I gotta get these, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, they're not bad, you know? But I bought a lot of Hirachis. How many do I really need? So I was kind of just like, I I think I might be okay, but I'll I'll give it some thought, and I'll maybe I'll pick them up later or something, you know? Because every other pair that I had bought over the last over this year has kind of set, right? To be completely honest, so I didn't think it was a reason to rush, so I didn't. And then I looked at like Nike later that day, later that morning, whatever, and they were sold out of the men's size. But for whatever reason, they also had a women's release that seemed to be very much the same. So I thought, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to buy them with the women's release. I'll buy it in an 11 half for women, which is a 10 for men, right? I was thinking, okay, I'll, I'll do that. Even though I prefer a nine and a half, I'll buy the 10s, right? And if I don't like them, I can give them to my brother because, you know, he'll probably, he might prefer a more loose fit than I do, right? And if I like them, then, you know, maybe I'll keep them. But either way, I can figure that out later. So I made this order for the 11 and a half women's and moved on with my day. And then I was at the mall for whatever reason, doing whatever I was doing. And I saw, I stopped in Foot Locker and I saw the men's size. And I was like, oh, you, you guys have nine and a half? And he's like, yeah, probably. You know, it kind of seemed like they had a lot of them. So he brought a pair out and I was like, all right, cool. Cause I, when I saw them on the shelf, I was like, these are actually really nice. So then I bought the nine and a half figuring like, I'm definitely gonna keep these for me. These will go to the brother, but whenever they arrive, I'll just do a comparison review. Cause I'm curious at this point, if there's any difference between the men's and the women's. And now here we are ready to knock out this review over these right here this Nike Air Hirachi in Lime and Magenta. That was a long, long intro, wasn't it? I could feel it. But either way, here we are. Let's go ahead and do this, right? So first off, I'm gonna hit you with like the differences between the two shoes, and then we'll do the breakdown. The differences are that there aren't any, period. I've gone over these a good number of times just to see, looking down at the bottom, seeing what's going on down there taking that visual in, catching them from different angles, doing that whole thing, you know? Nothing there. Materials, both are on par with one another. The cut looks to be very much the same. The the 10 of these fits like a 10 of my men's pair of Hirachis. I forget which release that was. So overall, there was no difference. There's that. Now we can do the re actual review portion, starting with the bottom. Down there, what you're looking at, pretty much your standard outsole on a Hirachi, right? Nothing fancy about it because I guess they just weren't doing fancy things back in 1990, whatever these came out. So moving on to the midsole here. This, you got that chunky style boost, not boost, that chunky style midsole that kind of reminds me like the React shoes and stuff like that. So you got that going on and then it just kind of like levels out towards the front, doesn't look so thick. And in there somewhere is gonna be some air because you know that's why it says air on the back, right? Now past that, moving on to the upper here, you can kind of tell that there's not a whole lot going on with the shoe that makes it play, oh man, like how am I gonna cover all this stuff, right? So much happening. It's not. Down here around the toe box area, you got some nice feeling leather going on. Above that, you've got that typical nylon feel for the white pair, white area. Just a little higher, you've got the, where that purple color is, and deep in there, you kind of can see just a little bit. 
you do have some of that lime green pinking through. And then as you move to the back of the shoe, I'll move further back to the middle of the shoe, I should say, around this here outer area where the leather pieces are, it's still feeling pretty good. Same material as you saw on the front, so no differences there. As I've often said in the past, the Hirachis and stuff is kind of like a two layer shoe, whatever. You got that outer layer, then like that sock liners, booty type thing going on, right? So that's happening. But anyways, moving over here between this area, you've got a lot more of that lime green and a lot more of that purple. So, which is kind of just the overall vibe of the shoe. And that just kind of goes all the way to the back end. But while we're here, you do have that plastic strap piece that goes around to the back. So on the siding, it's gonna be black. On the back, you've got that clear sort of bolt color, right? So you got that happening. And then, like I said, while we're back there, you've got more of that purple. The one thing that you can't quite see unless you catch from the right angle, you do have some perforations there on the actual upper piece. So under the magenta color, you can, or the purple color, you can kind of see that there is that lime green peeking through because, you know, it is a lime green sock liner. But anyways, and then down here under this, you have this piece, which is fairly elastic -y feeling, right, where your heel would be. It's kind of a good thing because, you know, you want comfort down there and that kind of helps you get it. So past that, that's really the bulk of the outside of the shoe because there's just a couple colors and once you've seen it, like, you, you get it, right? And I've probably shown you enough pictures already that you know what you're getting into. But let's switch the swing around to the front and finish this off, right? So you do have, like on this lacing area, you do have some extra lace holes or whatever. So if you want to switch things up with how you do your laces or whatever, you can. You probably gives you some room to be creative. I'm more of a just go with how it is stock, you know, and leave it alone. Minus a couple of these laces, which are kind of like switched around because I do like things that look right. But anyway, so it's pretty much just going to be your standard flat type laces similar to what you would see on like an Air Max 90 or something like that. I say that because I was just doing a review of a pair, so it's kind of fresh in my head. Moving to the top though, you do have the black circle with the green font and the green logo in there. It says Air Hirachi by Nike, right? So there's that piece for you. And now we've done the whole outside of the shoe. What do you know? Let's go ahead and move on to the inside. So down here on the inside, what you're seeing in there is pretty much that same style that you've seen on all the Hirachis lately. Like, it's I bought most of them, and all the ones that I have have that international thing going on. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's there, right? So you got that shield logo, and then down in the rest of it, it's going to be just that same nylon feel sock liner in that same lime green color. So that's pretty much the outside of the shoe, right? All in all. Not a whole lot else to say, so I'll hit you with some personal thoughts because, you know, maybe you haven't picked up on that. Here's how I feel about these. I like them. I saw them in the store and I thought, wow, now I see why Bobby Sneaker World and Anthony Levine are buying these shoes up, right? Normally this is where I'd pl plug an Anthony Levine video, but thanks to YouTube taking his channel down for reasons unknown to anybody, that isn't happening, which also means I have a lot of broken links in some other videos now. But anyways, as sad as that is, let's kind of get back on track. The visual of this shoe, it pulled me in because I'm already sold on the Hirachi for what it is, right? I've worn enough of them to like them. And I saw this and thought, okay, this looks a lot better than I thought. And even looking at it now, I'm definitely feeling like I made the right decision to get them. Though I kind of wish I had jumped on them when they first released, like right at 10 o'clock. Because maybe then I would have just bought the one pair for me and, you know, come out spending not as much money. But, hey, it is what it is, right? Things happen. So, speaking of things happening, it's time to make the sizing and fit and comfort portion of this video happen, right? So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I kind of alluded to this earlier in the video that this is a nine and a half, right? Cause that's the size that I buy in my Hirachis cause I have a size nine and a half foot. And so I just go with true to size on pretty much everything. Now, a lot of people do say that you should go up half a size on the Hirachi. Some even say to go up a full size, which I think is crazy personally, of course. But the thing is they are a snug fit, right? And it's not for everybody. Me and my thin sock wearing self, like, yeah, 
I'm doing just fine at True to Size, and a lot of other people are as well, but again, a lot of people aren't. However, here's the thing, right? You don't need to really take a chance, probably. You can likely go to any store around you or whatever and find a Hirachi, try it on, and then make your decision from there. If for some reason you aren't able to do that, my suggestion to you, find another review or two, watch those, maybe see what those people think about other shoes that you also have. And if you're on board with the way they see sizing and whatnot, there you go, that's your guy or your gal, do whatever they said to do, right? But anyways, past that, past the sizing of these things and all that good stuff, as far as the comfort goes, the comfort is like solid, right? I wear these all day with no complaints. I like to have shoes that are an all day wear, right? Not just a shoe that you can, can wear all day, but a shoe that you would want to wear all day. Like when you know you're gonna be out all day, like what's gonna come to your mind is what to put on. For me, that's stuff like this, right? So that's why I say it's a good all day wear shoe. And I would assume, based on personal experiences, that the average person out there would likely agree, right? I do kind of wish they had put some React soles on one of these, kind of like they did with the Prestos, because I'm curious how that would be. But that's another story for another day. For today, all we're focused on is that I think these are true to size. A lot of people don't, but we can all agree that they're comfortable. And I think that's enough to wrap this piece up. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am all done with my reviews and stuff for today. So I'm gonna, I might do the on feeds today. We'll see. Seems, depends on how I feel, you know? Cause then I gotta switch pants and stuff, you know? Cause it's a thing, you gotta see what matches with like the different shoes and all that. Unless I can just find one color that works with all of them. I might be able to do that. Yeah, I think I can do that. Either way, that's just a little glimpse into how stuff works for people who are still with me. For anybody that is still with me, I appreciate you guys a little more than those other people. I'm just going to put that out there. Anyways, for now, I'll be back tomorrow with a live, and I'll be back days after that putting out all these videos. So we'll cross paths later if you want to cross paths later. Later, people.